brothers and sisters. Okay, it is um, March 20th, 2017, and I'm just out here walking my dog. And as I look up, I see a puppy walking towards us. Luckily, this baby's on a leash. And so is he. Hello! Oh, come on, buddy! He loves dogs. Oh gosh. This animal. Look at him. Buddy! He said, play with me, play with me, play with me. He is, I call Buddy, uh, he's a bucking bronco. You know, he is, uh, this dog doesn't know the difference between danger. <laughs> like, uh, he doesn't know the difference between uh, a mean dog or a nice dog. Or a wicked dog. Or... Um, uh, a good one, buddy, you know, so he just, he's a friendly, loving animal that wants to play with everybody, and he'll run over to you and lay in front of you and want you to rub his belly, <sighs> so, okay, um, I'm trying to head to the park. We were there earlier and uh, he was playing and I wanted to throw the frisbee with them because I've been doing that with them and he loves it. But um, something happened and I allowed him to run free and not knowing that uh, there was like four other dogs surrounded in different areas of the park. And needless to say, he um, decided to rebel against me. <laughs> and he wasn't calling. I mean, he wasn't coming when I was calling. You know, I was calling for him to come. And he's just, uh, you know, and I've been taking him to there, uh, not therapy, but um, obedience training. So I'm taking training classes and, you know, you, you wouldn't know it if he came running up to you, but yeah, <laughs> you know, and that's kind of like us, you know, it's, uh, it's like God is, is calling us and, you know, you, you hear him and, but you're not coming right away, you know, you're still not fully want to surrender completely there's some things in your life that you don't want to let go of yet because the enemy has a spirit of fear placed upon you upon your mind that if you surrender completely what is this going to be like? And what is that going to be like? And who is really going to like you? And who, you know, so the enemy is always at work in our minds, feeding us lies. And God is always at work giving us reassurance and protecting us from those lies you know we all go through trials you know and it just seems like lately it's one thing after another and it's non-stop and that's how you know we are so close to the end I mean confirmations like crazy attacks all the time you know the enemy is using every possible um, thing that he can that he knows of you know from your past 
bringing it up always. You know, so he's bringing up every every tactic that he can that that worked before. You know, so he's trying. He's really trying to to get in there and cause you to fall and cause you to get discouraged. But you know, whom the sun sets free is free indeed. And he, you just have to trust God. You just have to trust him. No matter what it is, no matter what it looks like, you know who you serve. You know where your heart is. And you know that your heart belongs to God. And uh, he has it. So all things will work together for the good, for the good of those that love the Lord and who are called according to his purpose. You know, many are called, but few are chosen because, few are chosen because there's some things in their life that they, they're they don't want to surrender completely. And when you surrender to God, He will do amazing things and blessings in your life. You know, He wants to bless you abundantly. He wants to give you everything that your heart desires. But you have to let go. And I'm talking for me, you know, because um, I, you know, I'm not perfect at all. I'm just like you. We are all the same. We are no different than each other. You know, God knows my heart, which is why he has, uh, he hasn't gave up on me, you know, and he doesn't give up on us. We are the ones that give up when... A situation doesn't happen the way that we want it to. Something doesn't go our way. It, when it just seems like life is just seems to be failing. And, you know, God is real. You know, you're alive. I believe in you. I worship you. But why is my life falling apart? Why am I going through every single struggle in the book? You know, like... Well, why, 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 why? So everyone, you know, so people are calling out, why, why, God, why? And it's all to to strengthen you. It's all to, you know, to purify you, to show you what areas in your life, you know, need attention, need to be focused on, you know? Because meanwhile, why, why God wants to do all of those things for you for you so that he can use you in such a mighty way that you don't even know you know and um you just have to trust him let god do his thing you know don't hold him back don't grieve the holy spirit and uh you know you don't understand it now but give it a year or two if we're still here and then you look back and you'd be like wow that's why I went through this you know it's all for your ministry every trial that you go through every hard time is for a message it is you know instead of focusing on the negatives turn that negative and and try to make it something positive because instead of looking at what it is think past it of what it will be in Jesus name but to think and have that type of mentality you have to have faith and that is the thing nowadays the devil wants to cause us to not have any faith, you know? He wants to bring on so many distractions 
And along with these distractions are spirits that attach themselves to, to it. And it will cause discouragement. It can cause depression. It can cause fear. It can cause anxiety. I mean, he is seriously at work. But you know what? Do not fear because there is a mighty God who is at work also. And he is not giving up. So if there is something that you're going through, for example, you know, I, I'm going through something. And, uh, you know, God knows. He knows it. And there, he will bring, he will put people into your mind and he will put um, uh, you into other people's mind to pray, to pray for, you know. So know that, that whatever it is that you're going through, the Lord God knows it and he is sending other believers to intercede for your behalf so that you can overcome, so that you can get through, so that you can cross over that mountain. You know, the enemy thinks that he has you, you know, <laughs> but no, 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 no. Let God's will be done. You know, the Lord has you. He has you by his right hand. You know, so do not fret. Do not worry. You know, and it just seems to, you know, for me, I, I have grown so much through this whole journey with God, through my whole entire life walking with God. You know, I haven't been walking on that narrow path. Um, I that you know, you you know my testimony. You know uh, when it was that I I surrendered. You know, um, if you heard my testimony, you know you you would know that um, I, I you know I grew up going to church. So my mom was putting that, you know, she was placing, she was planting that seed in my life. And, um, you know, there are times as I was getting older, you know, in my teenage years, <laughs> teenager years, where uh, because of abuse and drugs and, and uh, abuse and pain and hurt, um, I, I, I fell away, but I never really truly fell away, you know, because God, he knew that, um, he was going to use that. He was going to use that pain. He was going to, he was going to use that abuse that I went through to glorify him. And at the time, it didn't make sense. At the time, I, I was suicidal. I, I thought life would be better if I was dead. You know? There was a time I even tried to do it. And it didn't happen. <laughs> but that's because the Lord God had a plan for me. And then, you know, fast forward down the years... Uh, I got my bondage, my addiction to drugs got worse, you know, it started to be something that, um, instead of just having fun and doing, it became something I came dependent on, and it came to be something that I needed, I had to have it, because if I wasn't going to have it, I was going to get sick, and I didn't want to feel those aches. I didn't want to feel those pains. I didn't want to have the runs. And, and those who have uh, had addictions, you know, been through that, you know what it's like. And, uh, you know, still, I would go through that all over again just to be where I am now. To be where I am with the Lord God. 
because he has me right where he wants me. Though I question it sometimes, like really, really God, but I can't tell you how many times in my devotional readings and in my readings of um, just uh, being alone, where he is constantly reminding me that I am on the right path, that I am on his path, that he is guiding me, that I, I mean, it is a, it is a weekly thing. I would say daily, but it was, it's more of every week. There is always a reassurance that he shows me that, you know, I know it doesn't make sense, Angela, but just trust in me. Trust me. And, and that's why, you know, sometimes people will comment. And it, it blows my mind because uh, reading the comments of, 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 of you all, you know, like, um, of how, like, oh, you know, thank you, that was a blessing to me, and, you know, that you, you can see the, the anointing, that you can see that God, um, Him shining down on me, you can, you know, that you can feel, like, His love through me, and it's just, you know, and I cry, I cry, because, I'm so thankful, so truly thankful, because, you know, we are in the last days, and the devil wants to just attack you, and attack your mind, and, you know, and to, to get a, a message, and a comment like that, and, you know, it, it just, it, it means so much, I feel very, very blessed, through this YouTube channel that the Lord God has led me to to do for him you know and he he gives us he gives us messages he gives us words and he uses other people you know at the most perfect time you know because we don't know what each other's life is like we're not walking in each other's shoes but one thing that we have in common, we know pain, we know what it's like to struggle, and we know the love of a father. We know and we believe in Jesus and what he did for us. And we know that the devil is under our feet, you know. So we have that in common, you know, where we know pain. And we know true joy. We know what true living is. You know. And it's not easy. But with Jesus, He can get you through anything. And I mean anything. If you just trust in Him, if you just seek Him, if you just read your word. Do not give up, you know, because the devil wants you to give up. But, you know, as a sister in Christ told me that the Lord God told her, and this is real quick, I'll share this quick testimony before I end this. And uh, God bless you for, for watching. Um, I was in my addiction really bad. My husband at the time, he was in jail, um, and I was at church, and it was a Wednesday night, and I sat alone. I sat alone. I mean, I came with some a group of people, but um, I, I sat alone, and I was concentrating on the word, and it was the word that was spoken. It was for me, and then afterwards, uh, you know, they called for the altar call. Well, you know, I didn't go up. I just stood up and I felt the anointing of God right there. And so I just began to lift my hands and I just began to worship. And there was a strong anointing that came upon me. And I was basking in his presence. And then 
this woman came up to me and she taps me and she's like hi are you okay you know and I was like and I just started crying she, she was like uh God spoke to me during the service and she at first she wanted to give me a hug she asked if, if I was okay and if I needed anything and she wanted to give me a hug and so I'm like yes 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 give me a hug give me a hug <laughs> and so I gave her a hug and then she she told me that that hug was from the Lord God that you know God spoke to her during the service and she and he told her to to tell me to not give up don't give up hope that everything is going to be all right and um to, and to not give up faith and to not give up hope that everything was going to be all right and those little words right there that moment changed my life you know i mean i will always remember that because after that let me tell you, um, during that time, I was homeless, and I was away from my kids, and, you know, so I really felt helpless and hopeless, I felt like a loser, I felt like a junkie, I mean, I was just, the devil was feeding me all of these, these lies, and I was believing it, you know, because of my lifestyle, but I had a love for, for God, and, uh, so, <laughs> long story short, um, I, something told me right afterwards, uh, to, to call my mom. Now, I haven't talked to my mom in a few months, and so I call her up, and she says, Angela? I say, yeah. She's like, oh my God goodness you would not believe what Scotty and I just finished doing and I said what we just got off our knees from praying that God would send someone into your life who can help you and that you would call or come in contact with us wow what I haven't talked to my mom for quite a while, and, and, and my kids, you know, because I was out there living that lifestyle, you know, I was selfish, self-centered, self-seeking, you know, I was of the flesh, right, and, um, wow, after that, I was so shocked, because, that was just amazing, you know, the, the, the per that, that instinct I had to call my mom, that was the Holy Spirit, that was God telling me to call my mom, and at that moment, they got off their knees from praying that they would speak to me, and so I've had a lot of spiritual encounters supernatural like that before <laughs> this dog um and, and so i just wanted to share that with you you know don't give up god will pull you through it because he's not finished he's not finished with you he's not even finished with me it's not over until we are in the grave, you know. And though our body dies, our spirit will live on. So with that, I love you, and I'll talk to you later. God bless.